The Old Testament is always pointing us forward to the New Testament. The book of the prophet Haggai is no exception. I'd like to reflect on that uh, this evening. Today the prophet in verse 16 asks the people to reflect on where they would have been if they hadn't begun to rebuild the temple, if they hadn't begun the work of, of reconstruction. He says, Before stone was placed upon stone in the temple of the Lord, how did you fare? Let me ask you to do uh, similarly to what Haggai asks three times. Consider. 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 I'm asking you to consider. I'm asking myself to consider what our lot would have been if God had not been so committed to you and to me that he would not have given the Lord Jesus to go to the cross in our place. That's a question that we do well to ask ourselves. Because I wonder, do we take this incredible fact of history, even as Christians who know God and love God, but do we take it for granted that Jesus died for me? That Jesus died for you? That God so loved you, that God so loved me, that he gave himself to go to the cross and there to suffer in our place. This truth is not one that we should pass over lightly. It's not one that we should move away from quickly. In fact, it's one that we should never move away from. This struck me in a very deep way quite recently when at a funeral service of someone very precious to me, uh, their funeral service at one point included uh, these words, this song, and it was the funeral of someone just six months younger than me. It was not the funeral of his child. And we sang together, Jesus loves me, he who died. Heaven's gate to open wide. He will wash away my sin. Let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Friends, know this this evening, that you are loved by God. Believe this tonight, that God loves you. Relish and hold fast to this truth. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Let us pray. Lord, in a deep way, where we truly appreciate what you've done for us, right in the very depths of our lives, the very core of our innermost beings, that we are loved by God. Mark us again with the sign of the cross. Engrave the cross upon our hearts, we pray. And Lord God Almighty, enable us to know that we know that we know Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. Lighten our darkness, we beseech you, O Lord. And by your great mercy, defend us from all the perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.